Welcome to Columbus Connection. We have a special edition of today's show. We have Miss USA contestant here with us today, and she is a native of Columbus, Georgia. So you want to stay tuned so you can find out more about today's show, and this is going to be great. Welcome to today's show. This is on CCG TV. Welcome back. I'm Loretta Rose and this is Columbus Connection. Our very special guest is Miss District of Columbia, USA, and she is Sierra Jackson. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for having me. It is a pleasure and an honor to finally meet you in person. <laughs> and it's such a joy to have you back in your hometown. That's right. That's to right. share with your success journey with the community here. Yes, this is my hometown. I went to elementary, middle, and high school here, Britt David Elementary, Blackman Road, and Columbus High. So it's great to be back home. Awesome. So from Columbus, Georgia, mm -hmm. to now DC. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. That is pretty amazing. Yes. I mean, it was an incredible journey for me. After graduating from Spelman College, I decided to pursue a career in politics. So I graduated with a degree in political science and then I went to the Women's Campaign School at Yale University to learn how to help women be elected officials or to mm. even be an elected official one day. Wow. Um, so that was an incredible experience and after that I moved to Washington DC. I was able to work in the Obama administration as the only intern in my class selected to serve the Chief of Staff's office as their communications intern. Wow. Um, in addition to working on Capitol Hill, mm -hmm. um, being an ambassador for two nonprofit organizations that encourage women to run for office, and so many other incredible things. So my life in D.C. has been going great. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that, how you had a passion to pursue mm -hmm. politics. Yes, ma'am. Amazing. Mm -hmm. When did you discover that passion? I think I discovered it when I was 15. Mm -hmm. I had a teacher at Columbus High who wanted us to make a magazine of essentially what we would be in the future. So kind of like a vision board, but a magazine version. And I saw myself, you know, one day running for office and I knew then that mm -hmm. if I liked to do it at 15, then I probably would do it later in life. So here I am um, encouraging women to run for political office because I know that even though we are more than 50% of our global population and mm -hmm. our national population, wow. We are less than 20% of our leadership, and that's something that certainly needs to change because there are gender pay gaps and so many other things that women um, need to be treated fairly for, mm -hmm. um, and we do the equal work, so we should deserve equal pay. Oh, wow. Miss District of Columbia, mm -hmm. USA. Yes. That's pretty big. <laughs> wow. And help the community to know what's next. Yes, so um, as Miss District of Columbia, USA, I'm a representative of the District of Columbia for the Miss Universe organization, mm -hmm. and I will be competing for Miss USA on November the 9th in Memphis, Tennessee oh. on FYI. So you definitely want to tune in for that. It's going to be an incredible experience. And I really want everyone to come out um, if they can, and if not, I definitely want them to vote. You can learn mm -hmm. more about how you can vote me into the top 16 at Miss USA wow. by going to sierrajackson.com backslash vote. Oh, wow, and definitely we have got to support you. <laughs> Wow, that's pretty amazing. Help the community to know more about your platform. Yes, yeah, so my platform is called The Future is Female, which encourages young women and girls to redefine what it means to look like a politician mm -hmm. and to lead in their communities with a servant's heart. And that's important for me because I recognize that even though so many of us are great leaders, some of us may want to be politicians mm -hmm. and some of us may not want to be politicians, but leadership is still important. So being able to promote this as my platform has allowed me to create many different other events and opportunities. This weekend, I will be having a women's empowerment conference called mm -hmm. It's Her Power. 
And that's an initiative that I'm starting, starting in tandem with my platform to be able to encourage women to have the leadership skills that they need to be successful and also women who want to run for political office to have the tools that they need to reach success. And is this virtual? This is virtual and everyone can tune in and learn okay. more about it. Um, you just go to sierrajackson.com backslash conference and you'll be able to learn more information. Oh, wow. Awesome. So that is this weekend this weekend this saturday so you definitely want to tune in we'll have more announcements of great speakers don't want to spoil it yet awesome. um, but it will be an incredible opportunity for young women and women from all different walks of life so the miss usa pageant will be in tennessee yes memphis tennessee which is a really great place but also it is the place where dr martin luther king jr mm. was unfortunately assassinated but it's beautiful because I'm able to go to, and all of my sisters um, are able to go to the National Civil Rights Museum and the Lorraine um, Motel. So it's really going to be great because right now in 2020, there yeah. has been a lot of racial unrest, mm -hmm. right? And we really want to be able to talk about that and give it the respect that it deserves by educating people and letting them know mm -hmm. what it means to fight for civil rights. And issues like Black Lives Matter are not political issues, but they're human and civil rights oh, issues. That's beautiful. And we need to treat those um, in the way that they deserve to be treated. Wow, you're so passionate about this. Yes, I, I definitely am. I've, I've been um, able to even co-organize a March on Washington on the same mm. weekend that Dr. Martin Luther King wow. did his March on Washington years ago. So it was really incredible because we were able to encourage people to support historic colleges and universities and their alum. And it's so important for me as a Spelman grad, and Dr. King is a, Mar yeah. a Morehouse grad, so yes. it's just really important to be able to support all historically black colleges because they have created great, great, great legacies, and I want to be able to maintain and continue that. Absolutely. Why is it so important that you serve with the servant heart? Because I know that is the core mm -hmm. of who you are, and you have done that so well. Thank you. Thank and, you. and I love that, how you just believe in just serving with a servant heart yeah. and you've stayed true to yourself yeah <laughs> yes indeed i mean i think a lot of times people look at me and they say oh she's miss district of columbia usa or they look at our politicians and they're like wow mm -hmm. they have this title and they feel like it's you're ruling but it's not that you're ruling or you're telling someone what to do. You're also serving someone. So mm -hmm. I don't just call my year a uh, reign, but I call it a year of service. Wow. And I want to make sure that people understand that I'm serving my community and that I want to make our qualities of life better. So that's what I do every day. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you're a role model. Thank you. You really are. And as we get ready to get ready to close out, mm -hmm. I would love for you to speak into the camera to some of the young ladies that may admire you, want to be where you are, want that confidence that you have, yes. we want to encourage them as well. Yes, there are so many people who will not see your dreams and visions the way you do, but it's not for them to see, it's for you to see. And it is your duty to make your dreams come to life. So I encourage you to be proud, be courageous, be confident, go outside of the box, do things that people said you would never do. And recognize that there have to be, unfortunately, villains in your success story, because when they say something that you maybe don't agree with or you maybe don't like and it makes you feel uncomfortable, it also ignites something in you that makes you realize that this is not true and can do that. And just keep going forward. Let those things that they say roll off your shoulder and everything's going to be just fine. Oh, well said. You're <laughs> such a motivator. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to be a motivational speaker. I have done some of that. And after my life as Miss District of Columbia, USA, I want to be a political commentator and a host and one day run for office. So I'm excited to be able to continue on that path. Sierra Jackson, <laughs> Miss District of Columbia, USA. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. So Thank proud you. of you. Thank you so much. Yes. yes, I appreciate you for allowing me to have this platform um, to encourage so many different community initiatives, to encourage yes. people to vote for me yes. as I prepare for Miss USA, to vote in our election yes. because that is so important, um, to even donate to my cause if they want to. You can always donate at sierrajackson.com backslash donate and also being able to promote community initiatives. Mm -hmm. Not only will those donations help me as I prepare for Miss USA, but they also help me programming to encourage women and girls to be leaders and encourage men to be allies as well. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. So how can others follow you? Yes, on you can follow me at sierrajackson.com, on Instagram at sierradjackson, 
on Facebook at Sierra Jackson and pretty much everywhere else. <laughs> Awesome. So November 9th yes. is the big night. That's the big day. We've been preparing for this for years, really. <laughs> wow. Wow. So happy. So happy for you. Thank well, you. Well, thank you for coming home yes. and sharing it with your hometown. Yes. We will be supporting you and cheering you on. I appreciate that so much. I mean, I've been able to co uh, compete at a different national competition where I was Miss District of Columbia, and I appreciate being able to have the second opportunity to represent the District of Columbia, but I also appreciate how much this community has loved me mm -hmm. and has supported me in both of those different experiences. Um, and as they promote, um, support me, as I promote different um, community initiatives and just different um, paths and things that I do in my life. So I'm just grateful for Columbus's support of me and I um, want to help them as much as I can. Wow, well, you're doing that well. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much. Well, there you have it. You've been watching Columbus Connection. I've been sitting in for David Britt. I'm Loretta Rose. So remember to support her. Let's cheer her on from afar. And we are super, super proud of Sierra Jackson. Thank you.